Today, we're diving into something I call the Ghost Burner Drive. It's a DIY project that's portable, encrypted, disposable, and cheap. Imagine carrying an entire encrypted operating system on a micro SD card, and within that operating system is your hidden encrypted files that are only unlocked with a special passphrase and hidden behind layers of encryption. And if you ever needed to, you can destroy it within seconds. In this demonstration, I will walk you through setting up Tails Linux on a micro SD card, explain what persistent encrypted storage looks like, and show you exactly how it all works. This project is only going to cost you the amount of money it is for a micro SD card. And it's all because we found a way to repurpose the Tails Linux that we already know and love into a safe, portable, encrypted drive that can be destroyed within seconds. And it gets even better. This is not just a ghost hard drive. This is also good for your regular everyday Tails use on top of having pre-installed privacy oriented tools and applications in the palm of your hands. This is a cheap, valuable privacy experiment. Before, Before we start, start, know this. Everything shown here is for education only, not for harm, not for illegal use. Privacy, privacy is a right, right, not a crime. Right. Every tool meant to protect us can be also turned against us. That's why it is vital to understand them because privacy itself is becoming an illusion. illusion. All right, to start this project, you're gonna need a micro SD card. So you can get pretty much anyone you want. It needs to be at least, I think, two gigs to run Tails. So if you get a 32 gigabyte or even a 16 gigabyte micro SD card, that should be more than good enough. Now you got to get to the Tails website. Here it is there. I'm going to leave all the links in the description and be advised. Once you go on this website, you're probably going to end up on some kind of watch list. This is just for a privacy experiment anyway, but you're going to go on and click on install. You're going to go down to where it says Tails only for USB sticks. Click on that. Then you're gonna click on download USB image and that's it, you're done with that part. Now you need to get to Rufus. Rufus is what we're gonna be using to make the bootable drive. If you don't know how to install Rufus, it's pretty simple, but I do have YouTube videos on my channel showing you how to do that. Go ahead and check those out if you're lost. Now we need to select the image that we downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and click on select. Then you're gonna click on the Tails download and then you're going to click start and then just hit OK. It's basically just going to tell you that you're going to delete everything on this storage device, which we don't care about and just wait for it to be done. Now your bootable drive is now ready. And we've done this many times before on this channel, but we're doing it in a different form factor, which is going to help us with the next step. Now we're going to boot into that SD card, which is going to give us access to Tails Linux. And then we're going to set up the encrypted virtual hard drive, which is just going to be a persistent folder. For me, it's F7 to get into the boot options. You're going to click on your device. And for you, it might be a little different. If you do not see our option on there, you might need to find the right F key as well as turn off secure boot. Depends on your situation. As you see here, I am loading into Tails. And it takes a little bit longer the first time because it's setting everything up. But once you get through the initial setup process, it's easier. Once you're inside Tails, you're going to click on Applications and you're going to click on Persistent Storage. So now we're going to be setting it up. As you're going to see right here, it tells you a little bit of a brief explanation of what it does. And we're going to come up with a passphrase. Make sure you remember your passphrase because if you lose this, you're not getting any of this data back. So in short, what's going on right now is that you're creating a special folder that you need a special key to unlock. And if you don't have that key, you cannot access it at all. It's fully encrypted. This folder sits inside of the Tails operating system. So you need to not just plug in the flash drive and access it. You need to boot into the Tails operating system and then use the special key to unlock this special folder. Now, that gives you other options that you can save, but what you really want to do is just do the folder. Everything else, you kind of want it to get wiped every single time you boot this operating system on. So I have the Bible downloaded on this red flash drive here. So I'm going to transfer that file from the red flash drive to the locked folder. In your experiments, this is where you're going to put your files that you want to keep private. And you're going to see here, I'm going to remove the red flash drive. And now that file has been copied into this locked folder. And that's it. You're not going to use Tails for anything else in this project. That's the only purpose of this. So now I have the Bible locked inside of this special folder, which is only unlocked with a special passphrase that I came up with. And if I was to use Tails and I don't put the passphrase in, I am only allowed to just use the basic tools. That folder will be completely locked and unseen. In Tails, once you shut it down, it wipes everything on that flash drive, except for the stuff that you saved in that special folder. Now we're going to relaunch into Tails. And I'm going to show you what it looks like after the first initial setup. So you can actually see what it's going to look like after you're done. You want to access that file again. 
you're going to be greeted with a login screen. It's going to say if you want to access persistent storage, you need to put in your passphrase. If you don't put in your passphrase and you just click launch, you're not going to be able to look at those files. So make sure you put in your passphrase. Um, if you don't put the right one, you're going to get this message. Incorrect. Can't do anything. So if you just want to use Tails and you don't want to go look at that folder or you go into your drive, you can just go ahead and click on the start. And you may ask, why would I do something like that? Well, if you don't need to open that folder, you might as well just not even log into it. This way, if your computer was to get compromised or you walked with your computer and it got compromised, that folder will not be available. Okay, so now I'm logged out of Tails and I'm back on Windows. I'm going to show you what a normal... SD card will look like. So you see right here, it says USB storage D. I plugged in our ghost drive and you're gonna see that's gonna throw a bunch of errors on the computer. Um, eventually I was able to get into it, but the folder will show that there's nothing there. And we know that we have files saved to it. So let me briefly explain what's going on and why you can't see these files on Windows. Windows can see the boot partition, but it doesn't contain normal user files, just system files needed to boot tails. The encrypted persistent partition is invisible to Windows because it doesn't know how to recognize it or unlock it. So if you were to plug in your ghost drive on a Windows machine, it will look like the file is completely empty. While we know that there is documents and files saved to it. So even if this was to get compromised, there's another layer of stealth. If you want to add another layer of stealth, you can just completely destroy the drive itself with a simple pinch. And that's it for the ghost drive. So I just recently found out that there's some colleges trying to build ghost laptops. So I'm wondering if anybody out there could see how effective this ghost drive actually is. Is there any way to extract the data even though it's encrypted? and being hidden. Also, can you get data if you completely destroy the drive itself like we have done here? But really like to see somebody challenge this to see if you could break into this. I really don't think you can. Another thing, this is a pretty cheap project to do. Tails is free. You saw how easy it is to download Tails and set up a bootable drive. You might already have a micro SD card that you're willing to sacrifice for this project. And if that's the case, this is a free DIY. A Tails bootable drive is nothing new. I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I'm just finding a new unique way to turn this into a privacy, local, disposable ghost drive. And I think it's very effective. <laughs> couple things before we end this video. I, I hate do. when people take advantage of people, especially when it comes to the cybersecurity and privacy space. There's a company building these bootable Tails drives and selling it as this latest and greatest off-grid device for over $100. I am for the community. I am for privacy. We should be teaching more of this stuff and less taking advantage of people. Lastly, privacy has become an illusion. So let's stop trading convenience for privacy and hold accountable the companies that profit from selling your data. Privacy is a right, not a privilege. If you made it this far in the video, consider leaving a like or subscribing. I think having local data is the only way to stay private nowadays. Anything that touches the internet is fair game. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, remember that, that safety, safety is an illusion. illusion.